Cloistrum! Cloistrum! Excuse me. Thank you. It's my stop. Excuse me. Neville Landless returns to Cloisterum. Well, now it comes to it. Where it all began. We see what you're made of. And where it must all come to its end. And thus, all must come together on this night. Septimus Crisparkle returns home to find... Rosa? I remember last Christmas, when we were all together, singing, playing... However do you come to be here? What is it? What happened? Mr. Grugis, in London at the station, he said it was the strain, his heart... Not... No. He is weak, but being looked after. He said it was the thorn of anxiety that got him at last. Then why are you here and not with him? He wouldn't let me stay. He knew how important it was. We sent a telegram from London to Helena. I don't understand, Rosa. To save a life. To save two lives. What are you saying? No one knows where he is. Neville. I fear he has murder on his mind. Well, Dick, you said it was urgent? I got a message from London. (laughs) It seems the game is a footmix. Then best we get to it. You know what you have to do? I do. Uh, If something goes wrong, we improvise. If I need to leave a note, can you read? Yes. No. Draw a picture. You. May I come in? Yes, of course. Here, dry yourself. I have warm punch. Yeah, no matter. I am. Please oblige me this. Let me offer you what small hospitality I can. Very well. I will accept your hospitality, sir. For now. That's all I ask, young man. I'll not offer a toast. I don't think you can accept one from me. Do you blame me for that, Mr. Jasper? Not for a moment. Mm. Mm. You've come from London? As you must be aware. Your friends will be concerned. Uh, They don't know. Ah. She hates you, you know. Ah, I see. At last you come out with it. She thinks you monstrous. In the garden, the the sundial, the things you said. Please oblige me. What did I say? Uh, uh, She did not, uh, could not bear to... uh, Recall? Yes, recall. And you shall answer. I am trying, but you seem confused. You will answer, I swear. You you insult. Insulted. And yet you say you do not act on her behalf. Your lying words. Remind me, what words? The words you never heard? Her word is sacred. Her beauty, her goodness. Oh, enough of this flim-flam. Sugar and spice. May I read you something? I'm sure you'll find it interesting. I am not yet. Not it. I, I will not. I, 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 I. By the way, it's the poppy. Opium in the punch. Obviously, you're not used to it. It will help you relax and listen and yet not sleep. <laughs> this isn't. No, it's not right. It's. Listen. Edwin is murdered. I now swear and record the oath on this page that I will never more discuss this mystery with any human creature until I fasten the crime of the murder of my dear dead boy upon the murderer, and that I shall devote myself to his destruction. I shall stand upon the tower of my righteousness and cast down the guilty one. (laughs) You are insane. But come, Neville. You are interested in things, are you not? The cathedral tower. I'm sure you'd love to see it. There's a fine view. Why, old Durdle says, on a clear night, you can almost see heaven. (laughs) Come. Let me help you. Come. Come. Oh, hurry. I fear the worst. Have faith, Miss Bud. We shall prevail. 
Jasper, we must see you. Oh, come on, sir, come on. Gone away. Jasper, Mr. Jasper. Nothing here. Is there any message, any... Uh? Rosa! Mr. Datchery, what are you... Do the same mission as you, it seems. Looking for Mr. Jasper uh, and... Uh... Your brother! What? Who? I'm afraid the rain hasn't done much for my hair. <clears throat> or the rest of my costume. Helena, I would have known you anywhere. Oh, my dear, my dear. <laughs> yeah, what on earth... Who exactly, Mr. Ta ah, Miss... Oh, this is confusing. No time to waste, Reverend. A wet coat, Neville's coat, he was here. But where now? Uh, give me that glass. <laughs> Opium. How do you... Salon, the smell was... <gasps> ah, his diary. I fear you are right, Rosa. A horror. Where would they go? Where? The where? Too obvious. Ah, listen. I shall devote myself to his destruction. I shall stand upon the tower of my righteousness and cast down the guilty one. The <gasps> cathedral tower. Of course. Where else? But it'll be locked. I have a key. And I need paper. I have to draw a picture. Well, here we are, Mr. Landless. Can I not promise you a fine view? The rain has stopped for us. Let me go, damn you. Oh, I shall have no fear. Soon enough, my boy, soon enough. Here, come to the window. It'll freshen you up. Why? Why what? Why did you do it? I did nothing. You murdered him. No, you don't understand at all. I've been dreaming of something, do you see? For years. Since Ned was... Since we were boys together. Well, such hopes I had. And then, when... Oh, hold. I fear we're to be interrupted. Why? Why? Tell me why. Because of her. Because Rosa gave me hope. I gave you nothing. I despise you. Well, Mr. Jasper, here we are again. Mr. Datchery, a surprise, but perhaps not a very great one. Hmm. You would oblige me by allowing me to help my brother. He can do you no good now. I meant him no harm. He has a small part to play, that's all. Reverend, if you will. Of course. Neville, my boy. Here, take my arm. <laughs> Murdered. Drew. Opium. Let me help you. He'll get over it. How could I have a part in this? What did I do? I gave you no hope. He wouldn't understand. Chris Barkle, you should take her away. The boy too. All of you, go. Leave me. Not yet. But you're right. Reverend, please take Rosa and my brother. Helena, be careful. He is not to be trusted. What now? We wait. For what? Were you really going to kill my brother? To protect my secret. The murder of Edward Jude? That was an accident. No secret. Then tell me what is. Why should you know it? What right do you have to that? You loved him. He was my... Not as your nephew. You loved him as I love Rosa. You told him as I will never tell her. You think not? Love is a very great power, Miss Landless, and we are helpless before it. Perhaps you'll learn that one day. Or perhaps I will kill the thing I love, as you did. You followed them that night to the weir, didn't you? I thought the night, the stars... And he told me what I most wanted to know. Rosa had freed him. I was foolish, perhaps, but I told him of my feelings, my love for him, the love I had always held. 
He said, of course, old chap, we are the best of... I took hold of him. I shook him, tried to make him understand. I kissed him. He was... horrified. He struck out. I begged. He slipped on the mud and struck his head. He did not move. What had I done? Killed him? By accident, yes, but what came next you did in full knowledge. I had killed the one I loved. And so the story against Neville Landless, the watch, the ring, left where they would be easily found. And since then I've been in hell. You could not admit to it? If I told the truth, what would the world have done, Miss Landless? Branded me a monster, not because of his death, but because of my love. Why should that love be a sin? Why? There is no sin in love, Jasper. Whatever the world says. But in placing the blame on another... And don't you think I haven't been hunted through these months by the hound of hell? In London, I followed the boy, never knowing if I should confess to him or kill him. Ah, this is what we are waiting for. He didn't die, you know. Your Edwin. He was badly hurt, very badly, and yet he crawled from the water and lived. Oh, something happened to his mind. He didn't know where he was, who he was. He was found, cared for by strangers and found again. Danny! I got your picture! By my assistant. The urchin. I should have strangled him when I had the chance. But I knew, somehow, he was part of this. Part of my end. Here's your octopus dick, Mr. Edwin Drews. There was no death, no crime. There he stands. You really haven't understood anything, have you? <sighs> and he turned away and fell and lay broken on the ground. John Jasper had murdered himself, as he always intended. He wanted to be buried in Cloisterham, my father, to lie in the cathedral there. He knew, I'm sure, that this was his last journey, the journey that has only one end. In the mystery of Edwin Drood, Kate Dickens was played by Pippa Nixon. John Jasper by Joel McCormack. Edwin Drood by Ewan Davis. Rosa Bud by Isabella Inchbald. Neville Landless by Manu Thiara. And Helena Landless by Halima Hussain. Reverend Chris Blake by Damien Lynch. Hiram Grugis by Peter Davidson. Princess Puffer by Rachel Atkins. And Deputy by Aaron Gelkoff. Other parts were played by Ian Conningham and Wilf Scalding. It was adapted by Mike Walker, directed by Jeremy Mortimer, and was a BBC Cymru Wales production for BBC Radio 4.